I love cooking tagines, especially in a tagine like this. You can actually pick up one of these from all good homeware stores these days. I'm going to show you how to do it first of all and I'm going to show you how to cook a duck tagine, which is not very common, but it really works with the flavours, the classic flavours of North Africa. So what I've got in here, I've just got some onions and I've just sweated them off. While that's happening, we can get onto our duck. So I've got one whole duck here. So to start with, let's just take off these wing tips because there's no meat there at all. Then I always start with the legs. So this is just as easy as segmenting a whole chicken. So just between the breast and the thigh there, we're just going to cut through that just to separate that nice and easily like so. Just break that bone in between and then simply cut around. Okay, so what we've got here is the drumstick and the thigh. So we'll cut those up later. So that's the first part. Let's do the other side now. So in between duck breast and the thigh. So turning it over and it easily comes apart like so. Okay, so now onto the duck breast. And just using a heavier knife here, what I'm going to do is just cut straight down the bones here. So straight through the centre and you can see these bones are really, really soft so it's not hard at all to do. So we're just cutting away at those bones as if we were keeping the breast on the crown and that's exactly what we're doing. And then there's a wishbone just at the end here and you can just easily cut that away. Now to separate this, what we need to do is turn it around and using that sharp knife again, these bones are really, really soft. So just using a bit of force. Now, if this is a little bit daunting for you or you don't think you can do it, no problems at all. That's what the butcher's there for. They would be more than happy to segment this duck for you. Okay, so that's almost done. We've got a few parts to go. So we just want to cut this duck breast in half. So we've got small pieces. And this will serve four to six people. So I'm going to cut this in half so everyone can have a taste of each section. And there's a soft bone just here. And it's as simple as just breaking through that. Very easy, so we'll put them to one side. Before I start adding our duck to the tagine, I'd like to render off some of the fat because I don't want to add that to our beautiful spice mix later. So skin side down, no oil required. And we just want to allow that to render just for a few minutes and until it's golden brown. Okay, let's have a look at this duck. Perfect, golden brown on that skin, which is what we want in our tagine here. You can see I've got the onions and they're still sweating off. Also didn't mention that I added some garlic in here too, okay? I've also got some coriander here. Just finely chop it and we're also going to add that to our onion and our garlic mixture there that's softening nicely in a little bit of olive oil. So in that goes, we'll give that another stir. So now we can start adding the spices and I have two tablespoons of Ras El Anouk, which is a North African spice. I love it and you can find it at all good supermarkets these days. So in that goes, along with a good pinch of saffron, one cinnamon stick and two bay leaves. Okay, I've got some fresh ones today but you can use some dried ones if you like. And this is the perfect time to start adding our duck. So I'm going to turn this pan off and in goes our duck. So we'll just pop it in there, see if it just fit nice and snug, which is completely fine. All right, looking good. So a few more things we need to add to this, some whole green olives and some preserved lemon. And I've just used the peel here and I've just finely chopped it. And that goes in now. And some tomato paste, and this is going to enrich in the sauce. And you just want to mix that in there. Some salt and pepper, a must, so some salt over here. Just a sprinkling along with some pepper, so freshly cracked pepper. And we've got some stock. So I'm using chicken stock today. You could use some duck stock. In this goes, so two cups, and it looks like a lot of liquid now, but this is going to cook for a while. So that'll leave us with this beautiful sauce. Okay, so let's just turn that around. All right, last thing that we're adding is a tomato. So we're just going to cut them into big chunks like so. I'll just take that stalk off, that's no good. Just arrange that in the tagine 
just like so. And they're going to collapse and give a, a wonderful sweetness to this sauce. That is it for now. I'm popping the lid on. While that's cooking, I'm going to prep some of my other vegetables that are going with this. So just one potato with one sweet potato. I love the combination of both because it bulks out the dish. And to make it even more hearty, I've also got one can of chickpeas here. So they're going in half an hour before it's cooked. All up, this is going to take one and a half hours. So I'll get these ready and then all I have to do is prepare some couscous. So I've just checked on the tagine and it is cooked. The potatoes are tender. The meat is falling off the bone. And like I said, this is one of those dishes you have to take to the middle of the table. So for the couscous, that is ready to go. I've just allowed it to steam. And don't forget that coriander that we had before. We're just going to roughly chop this. I mean, run the knife through it three or four times, just like so. And now for the reveal, let's have a look. Ta-da, look at that, it's still bubbling away. The olives are there, it smells so good. The cinnamon is what I can smell the most and that saffron, which is some of my favourites. So, a sprinkling of that coriander on top and that is my tagine. Tagine you usually think with vegetables or with chicken or even with lamb, but why don't you try it with duck? It's a great alternative and the gaminess of it just goes so well with those olives and of course the raz helenut.